peace, and blessings, and love, family. This is Elder Resign Shakur out of the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana, coming to you with another great and informative video. Peace, love, and happiness to all the melanated family and mankind. But family, this video is going to be about Michael Rothfuck and Cotino, Cotino Mosley. Brother used to play for the Houston Rockets way back in the in the day with Steve Francis. I think Charles Barkley was on that team too. Uh, they was at a Big Three basketball game. Uh, you know the new league that uh, Ice Ice Cube invented, and Katina Mobley was. I think he's a coach. Uh, assistant coach or something like that. Michael Rafford, he comes there trying to interview the man, the brother. And the brother looked at him <laughs> like to say, get the fuck on away from here. They want nothing to do with Michael Rafford trying to you trying to interview the brother and the brother ignoring him. So he get up there and act like a hoe. Talk about he, oh, he want to put hands on me. If he do, I'm getting my lawyer and all this dumb shit. White folks always want to intervene on black people. And when you don't want to be bothered with them, they come up with all kind of lies. Mike call you a nigga. He probably called him that when he got by himself. We ought to stop letting these people come to the cookout. He didn't say a lot of derogatory things about black people talking about we can't rap this, that, and the other. What in the fuck you know about hip hop, rap music, you know? He just want to fit in. But you don't fit in because you're not melanated. You ain't black, Michael Rafford. But I go to show you people like him. They'll accuse you of wanting to do them something when you don't want to be bothered with them. When you don't want to be bothered with them, you're a nigga and you this and you that. And the brother, the brother just tickled me in, in, in a clip I saw. He, he looked at Michael Rapper like he was a piece of shit, which he is. He looked at him like to say, man, let's get the hell away from me and leave me alone. That's right, and that's, that's, that's how I feel. Because I didn't went through that experience right where I live at. Here's some white person come up there bothering you. You, you, look, you ain't answering them, and soon you don't answer them, or you tell them to get the hell on away, or leave you alone. You a nigga, and you this, and you that, and you a MF, and all this other nonsense. Because you don't want to be bothered with them. And I don't be bothered with them in my social life. <laughs> the only way I deal with them people, when I work in the market, I got a few of them I work for, and I do my work, get my money, and get the fuck on about my damn business. That's right. I get in with my people. I fit in with my people. And that's what you ought to do, Michael Ruffert. That's right. You ain't welcome to my cookout, not in this life, in the next one either. And Coutinho Mobley did the right thing, not fucking with you. <laughs> That's right, family. Because they want to force themselves on us. They want to make us, if you don't do what they want you to do, then you ain't, you know, you this, that, and the other. Most likely a nigga. <laughs> That's right. But finally, we're going to cut this video a short. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about some of these so-called white folks that want to intervene in your life. And when you don't want to be bothered with them, you this, that, and the other. Or they're going to sue you. Or you everything but a child of the Creator. <laughs> Peace, love, and happiness to all the melanated family. Put up the likes and shares. And stay tuned for a live stream and an update on the stone. Peace, love, and happiness, and I'm out.